for eternity. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, we are gathered to celebrate the Holy Eucharist, to witness the sacrament of marriage between Michael and Vir Virginia. As their Christian family, we remind them that they are called to a life of holiness and fidelity as husband and wife. Let us rejoice with them and ask God's blessings for them and for their future children. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have great wisdom in my thoughts and in my words, I have been sinful and what I have created to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my fault, through my fault, therefore I ask the Lord Mary of our Virgin. All the angels of saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. Be attentive to, your, to our prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness uphold what you have established for the increase of the human race, so that the union you have created between Michael and Virginia may be kept safe by your assistance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. It's a secret, it's listen to the readings. Woman, here is her name, because she was taken out of man. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united with his wife, and they become one. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial son, let our response be. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Praise the Lord, my soul. All my being, praise his holy name. Response. The Lord is kind and merciful. 
Praise the Lord, my soul, and do not forget how kind he is. Response. The Lord is kind and merciful. He forgives all my sins and heals all my diseases. Response. The Lord is kind and merciful. He keeps me from the grave and blesses me with love and mercy. Response. The Lord is kind and merciful. He fills my life with good things so that I stay young and strong like an eagle. Response. The Lord is kind and merciful. Second reading, a reading from the letter to the Colossians. You are the people of God. He loved you and chose you for his own. So then, you must love yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Be Christ's message in all its riches. Must live in your hearts. Teach and instruct one another with all wisdom. Sing psalms, hymns, and sacred songs. Sing to God with thanksgiving in your hearts. Everything you do or say, then you should be done in the name of the Lord Jesus, as you give thanks through him to God the Father. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. God lives in union with us, and with His love is made perfect in us. Hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Some Pharisees approached him and tested him, saying, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any cause whatsoever? But, of course, uh, at the FP and Tony Bernie, May and June, uh, Raquel and uh, uh, Joel, uh, Noel, they, they all have the answer. And what's that answer? Okay. Um, in my uh, uh, prayer, uh, in my reflection, I could not think of any other answer, but only see that word is in the scripture that is known by the name of God. God is love. And we are told in our uh, uh, classes in our schools that uh, love, of course, it is a noun, but more than a noun, first and foremost, love is a verb. And since it is a verb, it is an action word. <laughs> that is why love ought to manifest itself into action, not only words. Okay? Yeah. If love is a noun, well, that's good, but it is not a verb. It is a verb. It is an action. Okay? It has to be manifested. The way Michael and uh, Virginia are here in front of the altar of the Lord. Today, they said to them also, uh, they won't be here if they don't love each other. <laughs> but uh, one thing is for sure, if they do love one another, God has spoken also of his love for them. That is why in a happy uh, married life of uh, uh, Catholic, there's not only two parties, the husband and the wife, no. But there's also third party. The other one. The love of Michael and Virginia is different from the two brothers in the two first parties. We are called in our catechesis that God is love. Okay, but that's one person. That is why, because of love, God is a trinity. Because if it's not a trinity, he's only one person. He cannot love uh, now between Virginia and Michael. Self offering, self donation. Okay. So that's the first thing. Offering. Walang iiwan, walang ititira. 100%. Not 50%, not 75%, not 25%, but 100%. So you exchange your love with one another. The second ring is what we call suffering. 
Suffering is another word for sacrifice. Okay? So just imagine uh, your parents uh, when you were uh, growing up, the sacrifice that they made in order for you to reach this stage in their life. Okay? Now that you are married, you're starting your life together. And we pray that uh, in the future, God will give you offspring. <laughs> that means a lot of sacrifice, not only for yourselves, but for the children that God will give you. It's sacrifice, really sacrifice. And it's, as I've said, in the term for suffering. <laughs> and the third, and the last ring, is what we call enduring. Enduring. So Tagalog, walang katapusan, magpakailanman, magpasawa ng hanggan. Because love is eternal. Love endures forever. Love is everlasting. There's no end. This is the measure of God's love. Love that never ends. Okay? That's why you pledge, uh, as you pledge your love for one another, you say, till death, yes. okay? this is the love of God. And now it is being poured out to you, uh, Michael and Virginia, and we are one with you in prayers. Once again, congratulations. Okay. okay, so may I now uh, ask uh, Michael and Virginia to please Also, the need I now ask you to answer truthfully the following questions. Virginia, did you come here of your own free will to bind yourself forever in the love and service of your husband? Yes, Father. Michael, did you come here of your own free will to bind yourself forever in the love and service of your wife? Yes, Father. Virginia and Michael, are you both ready to raise as good Christians the children whom God will give you? Yes, yes Father. Michael and Virginia, since you wish to contract holy matrimony, please join your right hand. Please place the hand to the Join your right hand. Okay. 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 <laughs> and now it's